And then we pray. Please listen to me. Hear me, London. There is a price for the anointing. There is a price for the glory of God. Hear me. Please listen. The price is more than fasting. The price is more than prayer. The price is more than Bible study. The price is more than church attendance, as important as that is. The price for life is death. This may be an uncomfortable teaching, but if it is God you want to host, only dead men can carry God. The door that leads to life is called death. The door that leads to the throne is called the cross. You must die to live. I have been crucified with Christ, he says. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I live in the flesh, that is the body, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Now, please sit down. Let me interpret what is happening to you right now. Because the Bible says, Romans chapter 8 from verse 18. It says, I reckon, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, the constraints, Lord, listen, there are many of you, the dealing of God in your life is seeking for interpretation. Because if you do not know, you will think he's the devil. When you want to move forward, others are moving. God says, you stay back. And you don't know why. Lord, what are you up to with my life? Why can't I live a normal life? It's a sign of an anointing looking for you. It's a sign of a grace looking for you. Others are sleeping and his majesty wakes you while they are sleeping he's saying pray lord allow me i want to live a normal life and then he says not so for the grace for a generation hear me he will give you instructions that may not make sense take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest if you want to be Abraham then you must be willing to give up Isaac only those who give up Isaac are called Abraham not those who give birth to Isaac those who can give away Isaac listen to me there is a message that our generation is trying to forget and respectfully I stand and lend my voice with many across the globe that are bringing this voice back not everything is free there is a price for the glory of God there is a real price for authentic spiritual power it will cost you your convenience it will cost you your ego it will cost you your reputation when you want to stand tall you must learn to go down the secret of standing is kneeling the secret to run is to stay the the key to your speed in life is your staying power the more you stay in his presence the more you run this is the message that a generation is trying to forget listen to me it is true that the same lord is rich unto all god loves everybody but he does not trust everybody it takes a track record in the spirit you can have visions of yourself moving in power and grace whether in business in ministry corporate life and it never manifests because there is a real price oh dear generation hear me there is a real price the price of prayer the price of surrender the price of death where what you want is him not you not your ambition listen 
the lord told me something years ago he said son if you can see me there is nothing i will not give you and he meant it i stand before the god of heaven in the presence of your pastor in the presence of god's people london europe i have no business building an agenda or an empire for myself no my agenda is not fame i'm not interested in being a celebrity all i want is to be that donkey that his majesty can ride upon and i told him i said lord if you will ever give me the opportunity to represent your purposes to a generation i am honored i am a man i am not perfect but i am broken listen to me i share with you this is not acting i'm sharing my heart with you if it is god you want to host it will cost you your ego it will cost you your ambition only those who can give him all can carry all of him you want to tell the sick be healed and they are healed it takes more than desire it takes more than kneeling down for a man of God to lay hands on you no there are certain wells you must dig by yourself it is a track record are we together and so I learned by experience that if you seek him and you don't find him is because you did not seek him with all your heart London I appreciate your passion for the things of God otherwise you would not be here I appreciate your honor for me and your precious pastor I thank you for all that you have done I thank you for your love and everything but you have celebrated Joshua Selman thank God for what he's done in my life but let me tell you I introduce to you afresh his majesty I introduce to you afresh the God who is bigger than us all I introduce to you afresh the maker of this man that you so admire listen if all you see is me you have not seen well you must see him my agenda is not to come and build fans no more than that sincerely he knows that you're all I want you're all I've ever needed you're all I want help me know you I need more than faith more than the reputation you're all I've ever needed you're all I want help me know you are near hear me I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. He's calling you to a place of fresh hunger. This is my message tonight. His power is available. But His power will require a depth of hunger. And if I can find someone that is desperate enough tonight to say, Lord, I will lay down my idols and thrones i have made and all that has taken my heart that i will lay down my idols and thrones i have made 
and all that has taken my heart sing lord i will bow lord i will bow to you to no other god but you lord this is my desire i sincerely seek to see the christ revealed and the christ glorified like john he says that i may decrease it's not self-condemnation is is an attempt to show how much he seeks to see his majesty revealed hear me tonight he's calling you to give up your agenda does not mean to forget about it it means to dethrone it until christ becomes lord of it he's not asking you to not seek prosperity don't get me wrong no i teach the whole counsel of god he wants you to prosper he wants you to increase he wants you to go forward you call it a shift however he wants to be lord of all his jealousy does not allow him to share any space with any other thing and so i made up my mind and i told him lord if you will give me anything at all that will take your place let it never come i meant it i still mean it any platform any anointing that you will ever give me that will make me shift the attention of a generation from you to me may it never come it is my pledge to see his glory revealed I'm not the only one he has called. It is a generation. It is an honor he's given. And we stand faithful to that which he has given. But hear me, London. I believe that the men who will restore the ordinances of God are in this building tonight. I believe that the men and the women who will bring back that fire, like the days of Gideon, like the days of samson like the days of elijah the call tonight is the call of death i'm going to give you two prayer points and i want you to pray sincerely because i'm about to speak over your life i want you to find a corner and cry your heart lord everything i have exalted above you i dethrone it tonight be the center of my life someone is praying someone is crying to god someone is crying all i want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be lifted all i want pray is for you for you to be glorified for you to be lifted fill my life till all 